Mommy is a psycho and Daddy is a brain. Sarah's kinda creepy, Granny is insane. Timmy's kinda very as happy as can be. All together they are the Johnston family. Nervous for the new job? Obviously, I haven't managed to get an interview since Timmy was born, so the fact they're straight up hiring me is a blessing. Where were you working again? Asshole, I've told you three times already, I've got a job at that children's hospital off of Jack and Jeffrey Street. Do you get to work as a euthanizer? Apparently it's a different kind of hospital, they have me there to comfort the kids. I think I had it in the bag as soon as I mentioned I've raised two kids. Speaking of which, where's Timmy? He went on a fun little journey of self-discovery this morning. I wouldn't bother him for the next 10 minutes if I were you. That's my boy. Does he grew up so fast? Well, it's just about 8. I gotta head on over. Wish me luck! Go, Go die, die in a hole! hole. Hey, I lost the job. Huh? What? Why? I don't know. It's simple, really. We want to make the kids feel happy, confident, and help them laugh. An elevated mood is good for their immune system. How should I go about that? Well, usually we do so by giving them a fun nickname that overlooks their sickness or disabilities, or boosts their confidence, such as we call the cancer patient's fighter or warrior. Meanwhile, kids with Down syndrome, we refer to them as champ or big guy. Something to help them feel better. Okay, I see. I think I can do that then. Great, I'll try to hang back and see how you do. I can do this. Hey there, fed us! I don't get it. I followed her instructions exactly. How the fuck am I supposed to work a job when she keeps changing the damn rules on me? The bitch was clearly out to get you. I say we track her down and sell her to the Taliban. It's okay, honey. You'll find another job. I don't know if that's true. Ever since I lost my job dancing at Buster Bros for not being pretty enough anymore, it just doesn't seem to work out. It's okay, Mom. I still think you're pretty on the inside. Fuck you, you little shit. Well, you always just have to get back up and try again. You can't be mooching off of me forever to pay your bills, you know. Or we can just kill you now and get your inheritance. Huh? You think you're actually in my will? Who is in your will? Not you. Am I in your will, Grandma? I'm leaving you my pills. Yay! Honey, maybe I can talk to the office? They might have need for a secretary or assistant position available. You won't need to have any experience. No, I want to get this job myself. Even if it means going to every store in this town and demanding an interview. It doesn't matter how long it takes me, I will triumph, because I'm a fucking Jonestan, and there's nothing I can't do. I've raised two kids, and two adults in my life, and I'll be damned if I let anything get in my- Those damn cheap skates could've had me doing anesthesia. <laughs> Sorry honey, it's just that your speech was boring as fuck. Was Obama right about the ocean rising? Tell me, why do you think you would be a good fit here at McDonald's? Well, I have no experience with cooking, but I'm capable of handling stress in a healthy way. Really? How do you handle stress? Well, usually I start by taking a watermelon, then I try to see how far. Do you happen to have a good amount of mathematical skills? It's pretty important to have that in order to be an accountant. Funny you should say that. My last job frequently had me collecting and counting money. It's almost as if I was born for this job. That's convenient. Where was your last area of employment, if you don't mind me asking? Stripper. Can you give me any reason why we should even consider you? A good one. I can't find a job to help my family. And if they don't need me, what kind of a mother am I? Who left this here? Mm -hmm. 
You guys looking for help? You security guy. Last one got his skull fractured from a bottle. And I don't think you've got what it takes. Hey, I'm tough. I can handle myself in a fight. Uh-huh, I'm sure. Look, we want someone was intimidating, if you know what I mean. I'm here for the job listing. Yeah, I think you might have the job already. Hey, I was here first. Sorry, little lady. Looks like I got it. Fuck you, you motherfucker! Bitch, what the hell is wrong with you? So about that job. You're hired. Oh, that's wonderful. When do I start? Can you be here at 9 p.m. tonight? Sure thing. Thank you. I got the job. Fuck. Which job did you get? Security work. They'll have me manage the crazies and drunks. How did you get that? Dealing with you shitheads is good practice. Can we celebrate? Yes, let's. Honey, get the moonshine. <laughs> Mom, did you want some? Grandma's busy eating the mail. Well, go get her. Um, we have a court summons. So, you just put it next to the others. This one is for tomorrow. It's for all of us. Alright, who did it? So we know who to bail out. Don't know, just says the whole family. Ow! Motherfucker! Do you think this is about my thing? You're going to have to be more specific than that. A knife. To what? Shit. Isn't it so hard nowadays to be a mother of two kids while also working a job? What are you talking about? All you've done is be a complete bitch this entire show. Isn't that what I just said? Literally nothing of what I just said is equivalent to what you had said. Is my character development from this episode at least going to carry over? Will you bitch and moan if I say no? Yes. <sighs> then maybe.